we showed you, well, remember all those diners with their vaccine passports getting checked? They were all outside. Here to help us understand that, Dr. Joseph Ladapo, professor of medicine and public health at UCLA. Uh, doctor, is there any reason to check the vaccine status of people who are all hanging out outside? I think that if your objective is to, you know, have a system where there is a lot of enforcement and a lot of focus on COVID, then sure. If your objective is to, you know, reduce the risk of transmission or of people um, not becoming ill, then absolutely not. Uh, we've known since for over a year, almost a year and a half now, that outdoor transmission is probably not even 1% of the, uh, of the cases of COVID. Hmm. You're an expert not only in infectious disease, but in public health as well, where really the coronavirus and the issues of policy that we've talked about uh, intersect here. African Americans have undisputed the lowest percentage of vaccination rate among any group. Do you worry that the health care of African Americans or their general health is going to decline as they are marginalized farther and farther without getting the vaccine? You know, I, I don't worry about it. I mean, I think that it, it really speaks to what's happening right now in terms of how we're approaching the vaccines. Different communities have different rates of uptake. You know, there are things that you can do in terms of education about risks and benefits to, so that people can make informed decisions. But I, you know, I, I, I've looked at this issue of, of vaccine uptake as really being one that is a personal decision. And people, you know, people, I personally feel that people should be allowed to make decisions about what they put in their bodies, particularly if they're adults. You know, there's a more debate in children and schools. You know, schools, of course, have had mandates for different vaccines for for decades. But adults really should have um, should have, you know, autonomy over what they what they do with their bodies. You know, Senator Rand Paul said that we are at a crossroads uh, in America in terms of what we are telling people to do and what we are informing them they can do, and then in some way or another, what we are arm twisting them to do by saying, if you don't do it, if you don't get the vaccine, we're gonna take all of these privileges away. Uh, does that seem like a fair assessment to you? Yeah, no, that's, I, you know, I really enjoy hit, watching his video that he put on Twitter about this. And I'm, you know, I personally, and I know that people have different feelings about this. I personally am really very grateful that he has been out outspoken about this, you know, this balance between personal rights and civil liberties, and on the other side of that, how um, people's fears about COVID, because that's that's really kind of what's happening. And you know, actually, I would add one other thing to the other side, which is not only people's fears about COVID, but their ambitions about you know power and control. And these are the political issues. And again, they're cast against these personal liberty individual decision-making, individual rights issues. So I personally have been really grateful that he's been outspoken about the, the need to be explicit uh, um, regarding this, this tension. I'm just wondering, doctor, your views on this are quite nuanced. We've had you on the show a number of times. We're privileged to do it. Has you being so outspoken about this and perhaps taking a slightly different line than the typical uh, medical group would or has and the medical community has on these issues. Has that caused you any problems inside the medical community? Oh, sure. Well, it has, but you know, it's really, I mean, it's, it's Tell me minor. about that. You know, you really have to, no, thank you, Leon. Well, I think I, I, I really, I, I don't want to talk too much about them because I, I don't think that they're what's important. I think what's really important when you step back and look at the big picture are these, you know, really, um, really critical issues that we're facing right now, again, between people's right to work and go to school and, you know, decide whether their children get to wear a mask or not and, you know, walk around freely outside. So sort of the tension between these issues and this myopic focus on just COVID. And, you know, and I think another thing to consider in terms of this tension is to realize, I mean, looking at the big picture, Vaccines are available for almost everyone who wants them. Um, you know, there's already a lot of community immunity out there from natural infection. And we know that among the vaccinated, when they are uh, infected with COVID, the, their likelihood of becoming seriously ill is very low. 
Same thing for people who have recovered from COVID. Yeah. So this is, you know, things are really just really out of proportion right now. And it's important, I think, to be a voice that talks about um, kind of puts these issues into context because it's really, it's very easy for people to get caught up in all of the, you know, really panic and hysteria and myopic focus on COVID. And mm -hmm. it's, it's not, uh, it's not a winning strategy. Physician, professor, we're going to add diplomat if you're not careful. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Ladapo, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks, thanks. And that's when he put his hand.